Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I recently went to Taipei and I wanted to share with you guys the things I bought there. And so the first thing is their pineapple cake. I really like their this brand specifically because I like those that are not too sweet. And this brand comes in 12 small packs inside, which looks like this. This, this is a really cool gift for your cousins or something like that because the packaging is really nice as you can see and the second pineapple cake so this is not so sweet so this second pineapple cake that i bought i saw it from an ad there so i wanted to try it out i don't know if it's really sweet or not this is a special one because i've never seen this before they mixed their pineapple cake with brownies as you can see so I haven't opened this yet, so let's do that right now. So first of all, I wanted to show you, it says here, um, there's pineapple fillings, pineapple cake, and chocolate brownie under here. So let's see what's inside. So the inside package is really cute. It looks like this with all those smiley faces. Oh, so I'm gonna choose one and taste it right now so you guys can know if it's really sweet or not because I prefer mine not so sweet. Let's see what it tastes like. So it looks like this. Mm. This is really good. So I highly recommend to buy this one. If you like brownies and pineapple cake, I don't think it's too sweet. The chocolate is really not sweet. It, it's kind of dark chocolate so if you like dark chocolate and pineapple cake that's not sweet i highly recommend you to buy try this one and as i mentioned also this one and so the next thing i bought is this oyster mushroom chips which looks like this i've tried this before last year so i'm not going to open this now because i'm giving this to someone else but this is really tasty, so I highly recommend this to you guys as well for those who want to try healthy oyster mushroom chips. I don't remember the exact price point, but I just know that these two are less expensive than this one. I think this retails for 450 I think. So the next thing I bought are these Quaker Oats drinks. They come in four flavors. I bought them in their convenience store. They are av available in every convenience store in Taipei. The first flavor is soy oats. I've never tried this before. And oats drink, which is plain oats drink flavor, which is really nice. I really recommend you guys to try this out if you're into healthy oats drink and you like Quaker's oats. And the next flavor is um, oats drink with kernels. So when you drink it, you can chew on the oats as well, which I really enjoy. So out of these four drinks, I like this the best with the kernel. And the second one I like is the oats drink without the kernel. And let's try these two, which are the soy oats and the nuts oats. I've never tried these before, so let's do this now. I don't feel any oats flavor at all. I just, I can only taste the soy and let's try the nuts oats. Again, I don't taste any oats flavor as well. I only can taste the nuts. So is it a bad drink? I don't think so, but to be honest, I prefer these two better. 
Oh my god, check out the amount that I bought. I'm clearly obsessed with these drinks. So the last thing I bought from Taipei is an iPhone case and a card holder. It's from, um, it's a building with a movie theater near 101 building. And the store is called PC3, as you can see. I really like this store every time I just go to this store to buy my iPhone cases because they're really high quality and the designs are really cute and the price point is, to me, I think it's, it's very, to me, the price point is really nice. And so the uh, design I chose is this Alice in Wonderland one. This is really cute, as you can see. It's um, silicone. And this <clears throat> card holder I bought, this is really cute as well. Also an Alice in Wonderland. I think it's a fairy tale theme. So it looks like this. Also from this store as well. So that is all guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.